Hey everyone, this is Bakari with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this video, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite and most used automation applications called ScreenFloat. Unlike Apple's default screenshot application, ScreenFloat automatically opens screenshots instead of saving them to the desktop. Your ScreenFloat captures remain open on the desktop until you close or delete them. All closed shots go to the ScreenFloat browser library where you can organize them into regular folders or smart folders. You can also share or open ScreenFlow captures in another application, as well as quickly drag an image's icon to the desktop to create an image file or drop it into another application like WordPress or in a text document. You can also access ScreenFlow in the menu bar, which allows you to take time shots or close all floating shots on your desktop. ScreenFlow's preferences allows you to use assigned hotkeys for triggering a new and time shots, opening the application browser, or for hiding and showing screenshots. However, I never manually press ScreenFlow's hotkeys. Instead, I use an assigned better touch tool finger gesture that triggers the keys so that I can more quickly take shots and keep working. Check out my articles and course about better touch tool to find out more about using finger gestures to trigger hotkeys. Also, I can trigger ScreenFlow using a drag and dictate voice command. I simply say snap and the voice command triggers the hotkey. You can download ScreenFlow for a trial review and purchase it in the Mac App Store for $8.99. If you take a lot of screenshots, I highly recommend that you make ScreenFlow a part of your daily workflow. Thanks a lot for watching this video and if you like this review, please like it on my YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages and also subscribe to my accounts. Your feedback encourages me to keep producing more and more content.